Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Nasdaq. Today I'm gonna bring you a nice beautiful virtual browse project from GitHub. The name is Neko, as you can see from the screen. Um, this is the project and this is a very nice beautiful interface for this project. Uh, after you set it up, Neko is Japanese term for cat. Um, the list author uh, developed this because of a rapid project was uh, was gone. He built this project to create a virtual browser in the internet. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, project features. We can take a look at quick start guide and see the requirement and the commands. So it looks like it's a little bit high for a resource requirement. The at the least lowest resolution and need two gig RAM and two cores. Um, based on my testing, so one virtual CPU and one gig RAM is fine as long as you can change its website. Um, I'm gonna create in a virtual machine in a, a dual. After that, we're gonna make some uh, installation for Docker Dog Compose and the changes website before that, uh, and then we'll launch this project in our Docker. Let's start. A virtual machine has been spinned up. Um, it's open to 18.04 LTS version. This is public IP, and you can see the size is B1S, which is one virtual CPU, one gigabyte RAM. It is enough um, after you using this website to get it um, increased to one gig RAM and one gig uh, website, then the performance will be much better. I just SSHD in, um, we can check the public IP and also it's uh, Ubuntu 18.04. We can change it to root mode. First thing we probably gonna do update. We don't need to upgrade it. We just um do update. And then we can start to install Docker and Docker Compose. Those two components. We were using Docker Compose YML file to bring up uh, Docker. Because it's only one gig RAM, so definitely it's low memory issue, and we also we always use can use a hard drive as a virtual memory. So websites, um, it steps it shows in my blog. Dot fifty one sec. You can search it, and just search swap, and you can get that this command here. Simple, just copy, and then paste in. There's two options, add swap or delete swap. Add. The size, we have one gig RAM, one zero to four. We just need to get another one. And you will see that from top resource page here, it shows 1048 and uh, hasn't been used any. Get now we're gonna install docker we're using curl command to fetch it it will take probably 20 to 30 seconds to get it done Okay, it's completed. Um, so we're gonna start the Docker and we're gonna enable Docker as well. So when system rebooted, Docker 
process is going to be automatically started as well. Next step, we're going to get Docker Compose and then make it executable. We can verify the Docker version. And the Docker Compose version. Great. Again, let's check the memory utilization. Now we're going to create our Docker Compose file docker compose.yml file all those command and the script even docker compose file you can find from my docker post which is going to be shown in in my video description you can just go in there and copy paste Uh, the screen resolution is 1280 and 720. We're going to change it to uh, minimum 1, 1, 0, 2, 4, and 5, 7, 6. So based on the requirement, it's asking two cores and two RAM. But as you can see, we only have one core and one gig RAM, right? So we will see double check make sure all commands are correctly in entered here also username password has been entered um, one more thing we need to do before we spin up this docker is um, firewall port you will need open the firewall port here so we are opening 8080 so this port 8080 we need to get it in so it's tcp port and also we need to add the second port which is udp port Let's copy that, 59,000 to 59,100. Copy, paste. Make sure there's no space, no other weird character here. Great. And the priority is 310. So while it's creating this security lure, we're gonna go back to our SSH session to start the Docker. Docker compose up dash D. It's gonna pull the image and extract it, then spin it up. Probably take uh, less than one minute get the whole process done. After that, we're going to use our browser to browsing this page AT80. If you want, um, you also can add Nginx reverse proxy docker here. You also can use third bot to apply a certificate and then enable HTTPS using your own subdomain. I have a couple of videos for that. Um, you can look at my previous post or previous video to find out that process. It, it's the same. There's no big difference to get um, HTTPS enabled and using your subdomain to access your virtual uh, desktop browser, Neko project. Okay, we are good here. Double check docker ps command and see the docker status. It's up 12 seconds. Let's get to the public IP.
because I didn't set up the uh, Nginx reverse proxy. Also, I didn't do third port, HTTPS, those kind of settings. Um, what I can try is only IP plus port number, which is 8080. We opened our firewall for 8080 and those UDP port. Um, Neko project come up right away. It's a nice interface. Username, password, which you can find out from a docker compose.yml file. Username admin, password Neko. You can change it to whatever you want. Oh, you must hear, you must heard that uh, BP sound. So that uh, once you logged in, they gave you this BP sound. Nice. Um, this is the virtual desktop uh, browser, Google, and Firefox is having different uh, image. So I will post that image in my my post so you will find that if you are a Firefox fan launch that image and you will find it not the mouse is here mouse pointer is here not moving because we didn't enable control so this keyboard icon here you took the control now you can type you can search you can do YouTube that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use in the YouTube to test the performance to see to see the video playback performance I will find out the um, yellow movie. Oh, yellow song. Let's do this one. House relax video. Code play Martin, Galax, and Kigo. It's a very good performance here. Um, smooth. I don't feel there's any pausing and uh, lagging on a video play. So basically, in this one gig RAM, one virtual CPU, I can do the YouTube. I can watch the YouTube video and uh, feels like a native experience native browser experience yeah. of course if you get more ram more cpus you can have a higher resolutions in your browser and then you can have even better performance than this that's pretty much what i'm going to show you today hope you enjoyed it uh, if you are also interested in this project just fork the project, give it a star, and also make it a world cloud virtual desktop browser for your own. Anytime you need to test these things, you can just um, go there and test it using this browser in the cloud. Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, give me a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day.